Hello and welcome to another Raggies um, beer review. So we're over to Derbyshire, to Alfreton in Derbyshire, to Alter Ego Brewing. Alter Ego Brewing have been going for several years now actually. Uh, they have a tap room, micro pub, sorry, in Losco, which is in Derbyshire also. Not far away from Nottinghamshire to be fair, on the border basically. Uh, called the Tip In. Tip In is a fantastic little micro pub. Lots of different beers on the go. A good, like most great micro pubs, they've got a good amount of beers on a rotational basis. I do need to get your backside over there actually. Um, and also to the Auto Ego pub. Um, possibly next month. Um, yeah. If there's, a, if there's a bus between the pubs and, uh, yeah, get dropped off or something. Not always does my wife want to go, so sometimes I have to go by myself, which uh, I'm getting a big boy these days. Yeah, yeah. I, might look, I might look old, but uh, <laughs> don't let looks ever judge, judge the cover. Not always, anyway. Yeah, age means nothing, yeah. Am I, am I grown up and sensible? Oh, bollocks. But anyway. I do apologise for any young children watching this, just in case um, Mr. Alter Ego's um, children are watching, uh, I do apologise. So, this is Nanatu, a toffee milk stout from Alter Ego Brewing. Um, no news yet that Alter Ego in Nottingham Craft Beer Festival, I will be extremely miffed if they're not. Uh, not understand it. Um, if I was in charge of the craft beer festival, I'd be poking up breweries across the UK, um, good breweries, and certainly looking after the locals. But I, I suppose you know, there's only so much I can do. Uh, I can certainly vent my um, opinion at least. So, Nana, too, out of the darkness, we have summoned a sweet toffee milk stout. Just the thing, a Nana disguised demon Nana would enjoy. Not sure if I'm reading that right. I, I can't even. I ain't even got my phone down here tonight. So, here's what it is. Um, five point two percent ABV. So yeah, there we go. A toffee milk stout. So. Let's dive in. Um, I've been out tonight. Uh, I dragged the uh, ooh, a little bit lively there on on the splurt there. Oh, a bit of earthiness there going off. Got this from Adventure Beer and good seed local bottle shop still going. Um, you know the. The worry for me is that people I've made friends with and acquaintances that they'll lose their businesses and that to me is a big worry. You know, um, like everybody, we're all in a job of some description, you know, uh, getting our way through this winter of discontent, a true winter of discontent, much like ni late 1970s. Um, so a black pour, a couple of centimetres of head on this. Um, there is a, there is the distinct um, toffee on the aroma, and a creamy lactosey milk uh, coming through as well. Like I say, a slight earthiness as well. Um, yeah, so I've been over to the Lion in Baseford, uh, a cask beer pub that I've never gone in before. And you know, I had a flipping great time. Walked in, they didn't know who I was. And I'm glad for that. I don't really... I like to walk into pubs and people not to recognise you, you know. So, however, however, and that's a good thing, you know. However much you think you're summer, and I don't think I'm anything anyway. Um, but it's nice to walk into a pubs and no one to turn around and say, 
Do I know you? He said, no, no one. Sorry, do you know me? I don't know you, sorry. And, uh, you know, and then totally swipe, swipe them until they say, you're that beer review, aren't you? And I'm like, sorry. And <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's a great thing to actually take the piss back and, and, uh, and me absolutely mech out, you ain't got a clue what the hell they're on about. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good for that. Because, <laughs> you know, it's part of who I am, you know, the personality is uh, uh, very much someone who actually uh, uh, takes the mick. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just, the, it's just the way I am, you know, it's, uh, I'll give you an example in a minute. Let me just drink this. So this time last year, my wife and daughter, daughter, sorry, had been in contact with Cockliffe, where I work, about uh, me and the wife doing our wedding vows. And uh, obviously I knew about it, obviously. And I walked into the office and Andrea, one of the girls there, lovely girl, you know, I, you know, I, I, the, the ladies in the, who work in the office, they're all lovely proper people who are just normal, nice people, you know, they are what they are. They know I think this of them anyway, so, you know, it's not like I'm creeping behind anyone. And to be honest, if I don't like you, you'll know I don't like you, because <laughs> of obvious reasons that I'm not going to tell you on this channel. But anyway, um, I walks in and she says, oh, hey, congratulations, you know, and, uh, and, I, and I absolutely knew what she was on about straight away, obviously. And I'm like, sorry. Straight away, she's backtracking, and I've got her. I fucking got her. And uh, what? What? Congratulations! And, uh, <laughs> and you know when you've got somebody, and uh, there's there's another girl with. I can't remember who was with her at the time, but uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I got her. I got her, and it was amazing. I'd I totally. Utterly got the, and it was so funny. Um, oh, literally so funny. But hey ho, you know these things happen. <laughs> um, back to the beer anyway. So yeah, alter ego uh, based in the Alfreton area now of um, Derbyshire. Um, you can get off the M1 at Junction 29, I think it is. Or was it 28? I can never remember them flipping junctions. 28 or 29. You go on the A38. And anyway, not far off the M1, to be fair. If you live that area... You know, keep an eye out for the tap room evenings. Uh, I am going to get myself down there again for another evening. Although I'll drive down and the wife can drive back. You know, someone's got to take. <laughs> someone's got to take the fall. Like, I'm the bloody beer reviewer. You know, it's what it is. Um, cracking tap room. Sometimes they'll have food on the go. That's the that's the greatest time to go because when there's food as well, there's great people. The community really come out for alter ego matt and his wife uh, they're lovely people um and uh, you know it's a family run business that are doing great craft beer local craft beer brewery for derbyshire and you know as much as i took the piff out of derbyshire uh, i also know so many fantastic brewers uh, all around me in the East Midlands and uh, yeah uh, they're as good as the national breweries that are getting all the plaudits and uh, with their with their beers that they, they'll only progress they'll only get better as they go further um, so anyway you know um, if, any, if anything I can be proud of my channel is that two years ago well when Covid first started that I spot, I through Adventure Beer, mind you, or I got this can from anyway, 
that I was able to see these breweries and start tasting these beers from breweries I've never heard of in my life. And it's like, Jesus, these are nice beers. And uh, and since then, it's progressed and it's it's been a, a fantastic exploration of what's out there in the beer world. And you know, um, we are but kids in an adult form, you know. How many of us out there really look at ourselves and think, well, I'm 51. Do I look 51? Possibly, with a bloody grey hair. Do I feel 51? No. Do I act 51? Hell no! <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to doing as much as I can do this year, money permitting. What what we've what we've the expense we've got coming up. Um, but you know, if I can do a bit more work at work and do you know um, gardening, extra gardening, and uh, the beer review side of things is gonna is gonna, you know, there will not be the amount that's on the beer wall. But there will be, um, you know, like I said in my intro the other day, things will, I'll still be doing beer reviews, obviously, but things will um, progress in a slightly different way for the channel, for the, for this year. And um, I think going forward, it's going to be a very interesting uh, time. The, the, bra the braver I get, and the more I come out of my, uh, out of the shadows, and, uh, you know, be the person that I know I can be. And, uh, you know, many, many years of working on the internet, I know I can do everything that I think I can do. I just need to do it. And I will. It's just a case of tapping up some of the local breweries and seeing, asking them. Can I do interviews with you? So, um, loving the toffee on this. It's a subtle toffee that's not too, you know, overly toffee. There's that balance in there. There's a fine balance with flavours between not enough, which is your, what you would call a modern traditional beer, which is always, you know, very low, or too much, which is like, Oh, I can't drink any more of that. This is a very sessionable uh, toffee milk stout with that lovely creaminess from the milk aspect. Lactose, I don't know if there is lactose in it. I um, can't even read on there. Thirsty for more. Wow. Uh, Alter Ego, talking about that. It says that on the can, by the way. Um, Alter Ego do do a subscription box. And I'll tell you what. If you like the sound of them, and uh, they are a cracking brewery, lovely people, uh, it's well worth a punt. And uh, I'd love to see, me personally, I'd love to see someone take up the mantle to do um, the craft beers uh, and, you know, the craft beers of East, East Midland craft beers and get the likes of. Neon Raptor, Pentridge, Black Iris, Turkey Brew, Black Bang the Elephant, Alter Ego, Urban Chicken, and others as well, into a box and say, This is what the East Midlands produces. We are kings, you know. And uh, it'll be an interesting thing, anyway. So, for me, as you can see, lovely looking pour, out of five, for me, a good 4.4 out of five. Thoroughly enjoyable toffee milk stout. And that's it for this review. As always, God, it feels like a Friday. It's only Thursday. Right? Going to a pub on a Thursday night drinking oh, six different tiny Rebel 11th birthday beers. Oh, ah, God, if I win the lottery, God, I'll never be sober. Cheers. <laughs>